Well, howdy folks. If you can see that utility pole straight out there, just to the side of that pine tree, that was my job today. Tomorrow, sometime, I think it's in the morning, the man from the electric company will be here. I believe they call him a site planner. But uh, my job was to clear a path for 150 feet, which I'm going to walk around the uh, tarp here, so that uh, we can develop the plan for us to have street power on the property. And if you can see that, which I'm coming right to it, so there's the utility pole, here's the pine tree, pretty much everything's cleared out of the way now. This, you can see the screen, yeah, right there if you can see that orange tape, that's 150 feet from that pole. Oh, yeah, nice even ground here. So I'm standing 150 feet away, he's got pretty much a clear path to run his little wheelie measure, measuring wheel. Uh, right down to this point and he'll probably wind up in pretty close to the same spot. All I had was a 30 foot tape measure. So I had to, you see these other flags on the way. Uh, that one, the first next one here is 20 feet. Then there's 30 feet down there. And there's another one up by those pine trees. It's another 30 foot. Actually no, 30 foot. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I had to measure four times with a 30 foot tape to get to 150. But uh, that's a fair straight shot without him having to climb through bushes and trees and over big rocks. So from that pole, back behind us where I was just at, 150 feet, which is where the electric company is going to set the pole, run the line, and hang a transformer. So maybe sometime in June, we'll turn around and you can just see the path. It goes pretty much directly to the corner of the house. So of course the first 30 feet was right over here on the side of the road, which I just scuffed the mark and I used the, uh, the big pruning loppers to hold that part down. That gets us straight on in. Try not to bounce around too much. Trying to watch where I'm going and watch where I'm pointing the camera can be a bit of a challenge. So we've got the straight path. He ought to be able to run his measuring wheel right up to that last flag. I've got flags up in the tree branches too to sort of mark the path. Pretty easy to see though, go just shoot the gap. And this gap was already there, conveniently. And uh, when they said rocks and trees, I don't think they were talking about these kind of rocks. I think this is the remnant of an old stone fence, I think. Hard telling, there's some larger stones up here. These will get used for other things on the farm. Yeah, there's some nice big, some nice big stones in there. So yeah, next year we'll have the tractor with the bucket and uh, some oomph, more oomph than I got. So a lot of this can, this will get picked up and cleaned up. It goes uh, down into that pine tree and runs up the hill a fair bit, not quite to the property line. But of course, when I get ready to trench the underground cable from the pole I'm gonna to have to move you know all this stuff going up to the corner of the house and that's fine that can be easily done because the tractor will also have lifting forks but the plan is to run the power up to the house and then I have a temporary electrical panel until such time as I'm ready to put power in the house and set up a permanent meter 
and the breaker panel. But I'm thinking this north uh, west wall here, somewhere in here where the kitchen's going to be, is going to be a good spot to put the breaker panel. So it'll be somewhere in here. Let's go inside and see where the window is for the kitchen sink. And of course you can't put an electrical meter above a water fixture. But we've got a nice gap right here, right in between these two windows, which would be a good spot to put the meter panel, because there won't be any more countertop coming out much further. And as long as we have access to open the panel, I can set it up fairly high, everything will be out of the way. The cupboards are not going to come all the way down this way. This corner is going to be the dining area. And uh, the kitchen, yeah. It's a small house, but you know what? We can make it work. We can do this. You know, if, if I really want to, I could put the breaker panel inside the bathroom, but I have to be very careful where I set the uh, the tub enclosure for the shower and all that stuff. So I'm thinking out here is probably going to be best. I know this is going to be the kitchen sink, and we'll figure the rest out from there. So it looks like. The floor is weathering the weather okay. At least it has a chance to dry out after a rain. So we're doing all right so far. Tomorrow we have the electric guy and then uh, a load of lumber for the roof rafters and uh, the knee walls that are going to go north and south wall and uh, more T111 and sheathing for the roof. And also, uh, Crescent Lumber is going to be delivering the metal roof and all the other stuff that goes with that. So we'll be busy. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. I'll probably be hanging out down here waiting for the deliverers to show up. I'll, I'll be down here fairly early waiting for the electric guy to show. In the meantime, it is so nice to just sit here and enjoy the peace and quiet. is good it's very good well there's our Lowe's delivery man his name is Alton super nice guy he uh, brought the next phase of materials for the house here uh, he delivered my concrete blocks right where I need it so we can uh, block up the camper get it safe And avoid those forklifts are literally go anywhere forklifts. But uh, these guys from Lowe's are always super great. They put stuff right where I ask them to. This cold is kicking my butt, and there won't be much work done today. But there's the material. That is strapping for the roof on top, and down below is eight foot uh, studs for the knee walls. There's the sheathing and the roofing felt for the roof, strapping for the roof. And of course, the guys at the shop loaded the T111, which I'm gonna need with the two by sixes. They loaded that underneath the sheathing, so we had to make a separate stack for that. And there's our rafters. We have some 24 foot stock on order, but apparently it hasn't come in yet. They have to wait for somebody else to mill it out. And that'll be delivered whenever they get it. In the meantime, it's uh, 8.25 on Tuesday morning, right after Memorial Day. And now I'm waiting for the Central Main Power guy to come out, the site planner. And I think while he's on his way, I might change into shorts because it's starting to toast up here pretty good that and maybe i'll drag a tarp out and get ready to cover all this stuff up roll some tires over we should be good to go 
That's it for now. That's it for now. Thank you, Lowe's. Okay, the rest of our stuff is here. That is our dark red. Here we go, now I can see. Our dark red metal roofing. And it looks like there's enough sheets there. Should be 18. Color matched uh, cap and drip edges. And even the screws are all color matched. So we're good there. Something else got dropped here. I don't know where that came from. That wasn't there yesterday. This is multi-vent. Huh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think this was on the truck yesterday. And he forgot to take it out. But I'm not sure we actually need it. Anyway, he did say there were some rolls of venting. Uh, yeah, all of our stuff is here now, and uh, we can get to work as soon as I start feeling like I'm somewhat human again, get over this cold. Uh, drag a tarp out, I think, and cover this up, and um, protect it against any potential weather, although we're supposed to have good weather all week long. Let's see, well, let's flip over one-handed. Uh, nope. That will though. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice color. A nice classic dark red. Thank you, Crescent Lumber. And the roofing panels were custom cut for 17 foot, which will give us about a one foot overhang uh, out of beyond the edge of the wall, which will be just perfect for the house part. Very happy. Okay, so ends that. But what has me bothered? If you look up, can we see it? I can't see anything. There it is. Yesterday was such a beautiful sky. Unbroken, clear blue. And now today, they're dumping chemicals in the air again. And it's just such a malignant looking sky now. I really wish we could put a stop to this. Just, it just gives you a hazy look all day, all the time. The sky just looks like crap. It should be unbroken clear blue. Look at this. Just ridiculous. This is all aerial spraying. Just kills me. This is not what our money should be going for. Anyway, rant over. I'm going to get the tarp over this and go to town, take care of a couple things and uh, rest up some more as I am beat from this cold. Okay, later on friends. One thing we can enjoy is the peace and quiet except for the sand pit up the road. The birds chirping, calm winds. God, I wish I felt better. I would love to get the canoe in the water. It last summer, and the only water it's seen is rain. Okay, life ain't bad at all. <laughs>